Let's look at how we would use a Carnot map to simplify the following Boolean expression AC plus AC bar B plus B bar C bar. So this for instance might represent a switching circuit with three types of switches A, B and C. And the first thing we need to consider is since there are three switches, that is three variables, each of those three switches can be in two states, namely open or closed, meaning altogether we have 2 to the power of 3 is 8 possible states of combinations of these. Therefore our three variable Carnot map must always have 8 squares as shown below. Now we have some choice in how we set this up with A, B and C, but if for instance I decided to set up A as the two middle rows of the table so that the bottom row and the top row are A bar and also set up B in the left column and B bar in the right column for instance then we would now have a restriction on where we put C to make sure we obtained every possible combination of states C would either need to go in the top two rows of the table or the bottom two rows. So here I'll choose to put it in the top two rows so that these parts are then C bar. Now we need to look at our expression and the first term in the expression is AC so that represents A and C and the only grids in the table that are in A and C are those in the second row of the table. The next term AC bar B so it needs to be in A and C bar which is this row here but also in B so that will be this cell here and finally the last term B bar C bar that needs to be in the column B bar and in one of the last two rows representing C bar so that will be down there and finally everything else is filled in with zeros so now we need to select 8 squares, 4 squares, 2 squares, 1 squares of 1's where we cover it with the largest squares possible and with the fewest of those possible. So here there are no 8 squares of 1's but you can see there is here a 4 square of 1's there so we'll circle that and note that 4 squares can also sometimes be 1's down a column of the table or if the top row and the bottom row are both ones that also would represent a four square. Now we still have a one here left to cover but clearly that is not part of a four square. And it is okay if the squares overlap so even though this one is not part of a four square we can cover it with a two square together with the one above it. And the final step is we now need to write down expression based on those squares of ones that we have circled. And first looking at the four square of ones that were circled in red here, you'll see that all of those are in A, so that could be defined in terms of A, but some of those ones in that four square are in C, some in C bar, so it cannot be defined in terms of C or C bar, and the same with B. Part of it is in B, part in B bar. So that four square will just be written as A. Now looking at our two square of ones that we've drawn in blue, we can see that both those ones are in B bar and in C bar. Therefore the blue two square will be written B bar, C bar. So this then is our simplified expression for the circuit shown A plus B bar C bar